Did you see what Harrison Pittman did to his family? If you've not, let me not spoil it. Let me show you. If you have, maybe you'll enjoy watching it again. Well done. <laughs> that was a good, that was a good escape. Harrison has just left the auditorium. Guys, I'm just going to take you backstage and we'll take you to our sound team. Hey, so Mum got any clues, any idea? No, nothing yet. None of them do. What are you doing for us, Harrison? I'm just singing today. Are you here on your own or with the family? No, but for funny enough, I've got my mum, my nan, my dad and my brother here. And they don't know it. So, so they're in the surprise. audience. Yeah, they are. And oh, where sorry, do they man. think you are right now? I'm at toilet. Brilliant. I'm toilet break. <laughs> it is a little tight. He's going to miss the next one. Good luck, Star. Good, Good luck, luck. Right. Yeah. yeah. Have fun. Enjoy. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Lol. Yes! I love him so much! Cool boys, again connected but much more breath flowy. Don't want a mic stand just hanging around. I keep me where the light is. Yeah. Good day everybody, you're on Bester, your vocal coach from Johannesburg, South Africa. And uh, I think it's so cool that he actually pulled it off. They've done this two or three times in the past that I've seen, maybe more, but um, but this really, I mean, look at the surprise, the dad, and, the, and like everybody, they are just totally shocked and they like, like can't believe it. So yeah, there he is and he's going to sing and let's see how he did. Right there, like, what? what the hell? What's he doing? He's supposed to be having a wee. Hello, what's your name? My name is Harrison. Nice to meet you. Lovely Where are you from? I'm from Gravesend, Kent. Lovely. How old are you, Harrison? I'm 22. Have you brought anyone along with you today? Funny enough, this is a surprise for my family over there on oh. the left. <laughs> they had no idea this was happening. What? So, did, so were you just with them in the audience? Yeah, I was just sitting there. Oh I was just chilling gosh. there. You went to the toilet. Oh. Oh, that's good. Still in there. <laughs> okay, so do you have a day job? I'm a full-time security guard and a youth worker, so I'm working two jobs at the moment. Oh. Right. You're here, the stage is yours, we wish you the best of luck. Thank Go you. Go for it. Thank you. They didn't ask him what he was going to do, what they normally do, but... Obviously, they know the parents. His family know knows. That I he sings. picked up your shirt this morning. I don't know why. I don't know why. Mr. Reynolds said to say hello. And I started to cry I started to cry Every place we've ever walked And everywhere we touched I miss you You never leave my mind so much of you is left behind you. <laughs> Took my day.
I keep thinking that you'll be calling Everyone says that it's all in my head And that I can't accept it yet I'm not ready to just give in I know that I must live in this pain With these feelings of regret I can comprehend this And pretend that I don't care my life with you took my world with you Yeah, so it's not often that I don't stop stop and pause and talk about it. I just wanted to listen to the whole song. I actually should know what musical this is from, but I forget. Yeah, so obviously a music theatre um, song, song from that genre. And I always say to my singers, if you want to sing a song from either an opera, which was the precursor to modern day music theatre, or from a musical, there's an extra layer of complexity because when I sing a pop song or a rock song, any other, many other contemporary styles of songs, when I sing that, I tell the story of the song, in the song. But when I sing something from a musical or an opera, or an operetta for that matter, then I am the story. Because remember in musicals, as in operas, the words that are sung is what the character is saying in the storyline of the opera or the musical. So you have to not just tell the story well, but be the story. You have to be that character. And it has to come through even in your sound, not just in your physical, like what people can see, the visual performance. But in the sound, people must hear the character and what the character is going through. So I think he did that really well. I think he has he has a great grasp on the song and and where it sits in the story of that musical. And I think he chose a great key. He started in A major and then after the big note he went to semitone up to B flat. And he's sort of a, a light baritone voice type, I think. Um, so perfect key for him. He didn't have super ridiculous highs that he has to sing. Um, and he sang the high F at the end, but gently. Um, and then it was like, and then he lowered his hands as part of his performance, as part of staying in the character of the song. Um, but yeah, good key, good song choice. He obviously loves the song and knows it well. And I think he sang it well, technically. There wasn't a word that I couldn't hear what the word was. So every vowel and every consonant was energized. And then there was the character. There was the sadness and the angst in the second bit, you know. So now I think he did really, really well. His voice, it is a, it is a really nice voice. Um, it's not a super duper voice. It's not a super standout voice voice for me, the actual voice. But it seems to me like he knows his voice and he knows how to use it. I'd be interested to know whether he has had training, whether that's all just his passion for music theater and he just sings those kinds of songs. If, if anybody who knows Harrison is watching, please let us know in the comments. I'd love to hear. But let's see how the judges responded. Free for you. Maybe I'm out of time. Tell me I'm worth 
I haven't said it, but I really like him as a person. It's a beautiful song. I know the song very well. It's a favourite of mine. I know Simon loves the song as well. Also, what's, what was beautiful about it is how well you acted it. And you did it from your heart, very genuinely. It was just lovely. Maybe I'm free for it. Maybe I'm out of time. I love your voice. There is a quality to it, especially in the lower register, which is so rich, so deep. It is very rare to get that quality. Not so rare, very, very but I agree quiet. with the, the and, quality. You know, as Amanda said, you did kind of perform the song well. However, you need a lot of practice. You know, if this is your dream to be on the West End, and... No, I get it, you're nervous. I think Simon's... So I'm going to kick this off with a yes. I think Simon said something yes useful. I'm, I'm kind of on the fence. I'm going to be honest with you. Because... Well... <laughs> so you've got a good voice. Gonna... Oh my god. Obviously. I'm going to say yes. I'll take it. <laughs> I'm going to say yes. I really like him. I think he's a balanced, he seems like a really balanced person. Seems like a lot of love in that family. Yeah. No, I'm glad for him. And then I saw that he has already performed, or they've already broadcast his semi-final performance as well. But yeah, I wanted to share this audition with you in case you haven't seen it especially. Um, because I just think they pulled it off so well to surprise the family. Thank you for spending the time with me. I really do appreciate it. Please give it a like if you enjoyed it. Share it with a friend. And until next time, always remember that your voice matters.